Hi and welcome to the V8 Hooligan. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the drivability of a behind the axle dump on a Silverado with a Magnaflow. So this is a cold start. Now I drive in manual five. Trailer tow haul mode is on. And I still got velocity performance. Throttle controller set to extreme. A lot of my driving for the next few minutes is downhill. So. so I don't really use much throttle, so you're not going to hear much. One thing I realized is I've never done a V4 check yet. This is all V8. cylinder and it's bogging down that's what it sounds like how it sounds from the outside apologize for the wind noise let me see if i can hear from the outside There's also cement barriers up here, so I'm gonna roll down the back windows and you can hear what it sounds like just driving by, and then the next set is gonna be uh, opening it up a bit.
pretty nice. Let's try again. So I'm going to try the same acceleration, but windows closed. This is going to be going uphill. This is going to be the last segment for the interior sounds. So there you have it, interior sounds of a Silverado with a Magnaflow 14 inch with no resonator behind the axle dump. It's not that bad. Everybody thinks it's gonna be like. But in reality, it's not even that bad. The only downside is, uh, is gonna be in a different video. I'm gonna do the cons. The pros of it are, it sounds awesome. It's not even that loud on the inside. That sounds excellent on the outside. And when you redline it, which is going to be in another video, you can hear the beauty of the engine. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next week. God damn it, I'm emotional. I'm the type of guy that when I die, the raise a totem pole. Any social butterfly, don't let me on my socials, bruh. This the tribe of spoken social club. Fire in the streets. Smoke in the sky. Tension in the air Start a month